A short video was recorded by a PR tuber in Poland who had apparently been hearing snarling sounds emanating from the woods near their farm. I ran this video through the Eddie detecting software and there seems to be no deception digitally. Take a look and make your own determination. Pale humanoid recorded in Poland. There was a previous video made a month earlier. What is this creature? My dad, brother and I were playing badminton one evening early 2020 in southern Minnesota when my brother tapped me on my shoulder and pointed down our driveway at the field. I saw what looked like an extremely tall, white, thin, stick figure running through the farm field. It was running from our point of view from left to right with a slight diagonal somewhat towards us. It was running so cartoon why, it's hard to explain. It was taking overly exaggerated bounds, and it was running fast. Even though it was 700-ish feet away from us, I could tell it was unrealistically tall and fast. I remember watching it put one leg out in front of the other, and its arms doing that thing people do when they sprint. I couldn't see the details because of how far away we were, but it looked like if you were to draw a stick figure. Like Slenderman forgot his suit, it quickly disappeared from sight when the trees that surround our property obstructed our view. Both my brother and I ran down the driveway so we could keep our eyes on it. So now we stood at the end of our driveway looking around at the all the farm fields but it was just gone. Even with how fast it was going, there was no way it could have gone over the horizon in the amount of time it took us to get a better view. Eventually my dad joined up with us at the end of the driveway. We told him what we saw and he thought it might have been a plastic bag blowing in the wind. Except it wasn't windy at all, that's why we were playing badminton. But it's not uncommon to see garbage blowing across the farm fields out here. Is there an explanation for this? Has anyone else seen something similar? TM. It was dusk and I was in my 30s videoing my kids playing outside on my phone. It was getting dark, so I stopped the video and looked out past my kids into a small field behind them. I saw a very tall super skinny slenderman type thing all black with long swinging arms, and it was taking big steps but walking toward a tree line in my parents' rural home. It was cartoon like and stick figure like in proportions, but walked very fluidly. I grew up there and never saw this but have seen shadow people and weird occurrences my whole life there. My sister, who is watching the kids next to me, was looking out at the same area I was. She saw something at the same time, but described it as something on the ground crying unnaturally. I turned to her to see if she was seeing what I was seeing, and she said, What was that? She was just staring, trying to wrap her brain around it. When I looked back, it was gone. I told her what I saw, and she said that's not what she saw but we both saw something at the same time in the same area. I'm more sensitive than her seeing things like this, but this was her first time seeing anything. She immediately ushered the kids inside, and was very shook. She won't talk about it, she's still terrified. My teen daughter, whom I was filming, said she looked at both of us in our expressions and knew something was very wrong, so she turned to see what we were looking at, but didn't see anything. 
I will say, it didn't scare me, it was just hard to understand what I was seeing. That was about eight years ago. Fast forward to a few weeks ago, my young teen nieces were outside playing at the same house, and saw a fedora wearing shadow on the tree line in the same area. My one niece is very sensitive, and saw the full figure of a dark shadow with the hat. The other never saw anything paranormal before and described it as a weird dark figure on the ground. They both said it was very black. I've seen shadow people in the house before, and interacted with one once, not that I wanted to. Here's the strange thing about all the things I've seen at this house my whole life. Every single entity and mist I've seen inside and outside of the house has been moving in the same direction. Always toward the tree line in this one area by the long driveway. The very weird thing is, several people over the years, who are not believers in the paranormal, have told me they hear deep growling in the same tree line at night when they are alone. BB. I live in Pennsylvania just outside the city of Reading, Berks County. There's a lot of forests around here in the suburb where I am. Farther out at highways and farmland. I live right up at the edge of a small community at the very top of a hill. The forest is literally across the street from me. Anyway, somewhere around a year ago my dad and I were outside having a personal chat about some recent tough events going on in my house, when suddenly we heard a weird sound in the forest across the road. We both stopped and looked over. I didn't think dear came out this late, I think I said. My dad just stared and looked kind of confused. Then suddenly we heard someone yell something like help. I'm bleeding. We both sat there stunned, staring into the woods where the sounds came from. My dad stood up and said, get inside. We both rushed in, and I watched him run upstairs to grab his handgun. My dad's a rough kind of guy, and always heads for his gun, if he thinks something's going down. I opened our back door again to our deck, it was a glass door, and peeked back out towards the forest to see, if anyone would come sprinting out or something. Keep in mind we're at the edge of the suburbs, and not exactly used to hearing people scream bloody murder in the middle of the night. Then I heard it. This loud bird screech. It was like a cat or a woman, but it definitely wasn't human. It was weird, like it was high-pitched but not, and filled the entire neighborhood for a full ten seconds before it suddenly went silent. I slammed the glass door shut, and ran to the stairs just in time, to see my dad stomping down in boots with his pistol. Did you hear that? I remember asking him. He just nodded, and we both head out the front. By now a bunch of our neighbors were coming outside too. The scream was really loud, but I didn't even expect all these people to come out this late. It was almost midnight. My dad went down to the street and looked up at the forest. Another guy came up from my dad and he had handgun too. I watched them start chatting for a bit until suddenly another one of those screams pierced the air again. It was horrible and made me feel sick to my stomach. It went on for something like another 10 seconds and just suddenly cut off. My dad and this neighbor guy decide to point their guns towards the forest and head in. I couldn't believe it. I mean my dad is a hunter, and he's been doing it since he was a kid, but I'd be damned if I do something like that. They must have been in the forest for a good 20 minutes together searching the darkness for God knows what. I sat outside with a bunch of neighbors that entire time, staring into the forest and waiting. Eventually they came back just fine. They stuck together the entire time according to my dad, and thought they saw something like a tall guy in the forest at some point. When they tried to see if he was the one screaming apparently he got on all fours, and hauled ass into the forest. We all were pretty shaken up, but parted ways and head back to our houses. That was pretty fucking weird, and no police or anything ever checked it out, but eventually we all moved past it. A long while after, that there was a separate incident, that I didn't exactly connect to the first. Later that year I was sitting outside with my friend on my back porch. We were talking when I saw my cat pawing at my glass window. What a stupid cat, my friend said. I agreed with him, and played with the cat, putting my finger on the window, while he pawed at my finger wherever it went. That's not what's good though. Later that night I was in my room playing a game with my window open. My cat was somewhere in the house, along with all our dogs, so I know he was fine. It's important to note that my neighborhood has a real problem with stray cats though. Anyway, I was sitting there playing some games with my window open when I heard what sounded like a cat meowing outside. I paused my game 
wondering if my cat had gotten outside and went to my wind of a lesson. I heard that me again, but it was a long, deep one, that kind you hear from a cat when they're pissed and backed in a corner with their claws out. I recognized it was in my cat, but it was still coming from the woods behind my house, so I stared and tried to see where the stray was and why it was making that sound. The cat did that deep, long, angry mewing again, and it sounded sort of close to my yard. I heard some shuffling in the woods, and then something weird happened. I thought I could hear someone talking. Except it wasn't like a normal person's voice. It was like some mentally unstable person trying to mimic someone else really badly. It was something like a drawn out stewarded car. Immediately I got creeped out, but, seeing as how my window was on the second floor, I felt fairly safe to keep listening. Then I realized the voice was changing. Stewarded car. It clicked on tight, it sounded like something trying to sound like my friend, but doing it really badly. Then there was a serious scuffle. I heard twigs breaking, and the cat just going ape SHT. I mean it was really screeching and mewing like it was fighting for life or death. Then there was this loud thumping sound. It was like something big and heavy smacking against something else solid. After that the cat sound stopped completely, and whatever was out there went dead silent. I was pretty creeped out by this point, and I shut my window, and had real trouble sleeping that night. Nothing's really happened since aside from one incident, where I was getting a drink late one night, and thought I saw someone crouching really super low on my back porch and looking into my glass. Door. Like I saw light reflect off its size like when you see an animal at night or something. The door was locked, and it really freaked me out, and made me sprint to my room and wake up my dad. But he didn't find anyone or anything. Re. 